What's up everybody, it's Ghost Robo and welcome back to more awesome Assassin's Creed Origins action on Xbox One X in glorious, glorious 4K. Today we're taking our talents to the arena to showcase combat and eventually a boss battle. Yes, boss battles are in for AC Origins and personally I'm very pumped about that. I love boss battles. If you guys want to see the open world, if you want to see villages, if you want to see quests, I have another video. Link in the description. Should be a link on your screen. That's a big 30 minute video that I was able to capture. So check that out. But today it's all about the fighting and the new muscle that they have put behind the combat system. And you'll see it right from the get go. Things are different. This is no longer the stand around, counter, counter, attack, attack, grab and throw combat of your, uh, your, your Assassin's Creed of yesteryear. It's a lot more methodical, um, a lot more heavy, and a lot more about... Um, Pulling one enemy away, it feels like Dark Souls in that way of like peeling off an enemy, fighting them and then working on the next and making sure you dodge their attacks because they can deal damage quickly. That white bar down below is my health and it will get eaten into if I'm not careful. The yellow and orange meter above is my adrenaline meter that builds for an eventual super attack. Um, but I don't think it's, I think it's a dangerous comparison to say it's like Dark Souls because it does not in any way have the complexity or the difficulty of Dark Souls. Um, but they definitely found... Uh, somewhat of a middle ground between what we're used to and something on the higher end like that. And I've heard that the complexity uh, increases as the game goes on because you will unlock weapons that have the ability to parry and whatnot. And frankly, I welcome that. I think if the, the combat was even a little more difficult, a little more intense, a little more uh, complex as we execute that finishing move there and finish wave one, it would be an even better game. Uh, I like where they've gone and I hope as the game progresses, they take it even further because... That would be awesome to me. I love Dark Souls, and I'd love for it to get even more uh, intricate. Uh, but alas, right now we have to focus on the fools at hand and using the environment, if possible, to our advantage. Currently using a long-range weapon. Whole variety of weapons in the game. There's the loot system, with the action RPG stuff that they have implemented, uh, where you will be finding tons of weapons. And I, and I feel like mixing up your weapons a lot more than you used to in Assassin's Creed. Um, you know, I got to play with like a sword-type weapon, a spear-type weapon, this type weapon as I run right into the spikes. Um, saving my adrenaline attack for a worthy opponent. These guys with shields, you have to charge up your heavy in order to stun them. So you have light attack on right bumper and heavy attack on right trigger. And that's what you're mixing up for these different combos and these different moves. Now we are in dire, dire need of some health. And you'll get to see that if you evade and run away, um, you will refill health at least up to one of the subsections. So you have three subsections. I believe it's going to stop there. These guys are coming at me hard. Uh, two shielded enemies that are working in tandem is really tricky. Now, I do have a long-range weapon, um, but it's a little bit of a slow mover, so it's hard to get the attacks in that I want to get in, um, especially when you're, you're running into environmental hazards. Uh, I was just getting used to the combat and trying to experiment. That is a nice heavy attack there to charge up to finish that guy off, uh, but his spear is going to be vicious, and you can move with the charge. Uh, did not work out that time, but it's a nice spin attack. Kind of reminds me of Link. Uh, in his move set, but we are desynchronized, and that's okay. That's sort of our intro to combat, and now you get to see a whole lot more proficiency. So we're back in the arena. Beautiful game, right? Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, the open world stuff looks phenomenal, but even in this this closed off space, um, you can even see a little bit of the skybox from outside through a gap in the wall, and the graphics and the particle effects and what they've got going on here looked absolutely phenomenal on Xbox One X. Um, did it feel different? Did it play different? I have no way of knowing because I only played it on Xbox One X. Uh, but I'm assuming that the only difference is going to be uh, visually, right? There's nothing gameplay-wise that can change. The games have to work on both. Uh, so there, our attack chops into the big guy. And I started to learn that the more aggressive you are, kind of the better. Um, as, you, as you be more aggressive, you give them less time to attack and eventually end up stunning them out of their attack animations. Uh, so we have reached the next wave. A big brute here says hello. He's got a big hammer type weapon and some spearmen, uh, which are a dangerous type of uh, type of enemy to face here. And the variety is what's kind of killer because we, you know, have multiple different kinds of attacks, multiple different strategies coming at us from different directions. Uh, Bayek's dodge is more like a slide, which is interesting. I do have that adrenaline meter filled up and we'll use that attack, crushing him and getting a quick kill. I believe it's unblockable. Um, as far as I can tell it is. I haven't had anybody block that adrenaline move whatsoever, that rage move right there. 
And now one-on-one, -on -one, we're pretty powerful. As long as you keep the pressure on, you do a nice job uh, of being aggressive. And as you saw there, they mixed up, I believe they mixed up the enemies that we faced in Wave 2. So here's Wave 3, at least visually they did. Uh, here's Wave 3, we got a guy with a tall shield who's going to be our, our most difficult uh, attacker yet. And you'll see why in a second. But I'm going to work on the big boy just because I believe he deals the most damage. So I want to eliminate him uh, from the pool first. You got to get that big fish out of there before you deal with all the annoying small ones. And this guy uh, is tricky because his shield blocks everything, even your charge attacks. So the way to defeat him is wait for him to attack and then either get him in the opening before his, his move hits or you dodge out the way and hit him from behind. Um, but you'll see that he is slow on his feet. So it's working out well for me to just hit him uh, while he, when he pulls back that spear. Ooh, a nice shield rush there. But that opens him up, and that will eventually be his doom. And we'll one-hit uh, the poor Bowman over here, the archer. He had fire arrows, but it's not going to be enough as we complete the three waves. Get that congratulations. And now are able to move into the boss battle. So we get a score. And I'm curious to see how many different arenas they have in the game or how it's incorporated a story or, or, you know, how it fits into everything. That'll be cool to see. Um, but now we are going to move back to the Slaver, who is a big, brutal boss. And you'll see why right about now. baby that is one big man i don't know how he got so big but he is gonna have to fall very fast otherwise we are in trouble because he has a mighty weapon with good range and he has more uh, complex attack patterns than the average foe you'll notice that he will do multiple attacks in a row eventually um and he does again function like a, a heavier boss and I, I like the fact that he has like the level over him and then the gold so you know that he's uh an elite um, and I wonder if we'll see different elites. Oh my goodness gracious. Yeah, this guy means business. But we get him uh, while he gloats. I wonder if there will be elites throughout the world and if they'll eventually bring better loot. I think they will. And that's kind of cool. It's almost incorporating like a, a Diablo or a Destiny style system into Assassin's Creed Origins, which is interesting. Now, call me crazy, but I believe that for the demo, they had the damage that the Slaver dealt tuned down. Because look how little damage I took there uh, versus what I was taking against just the uh, the fodder enemies. So even though we are doing a good job getting the adrenaline move off on him and staying aggressive, I do feel like they had tuned down, tweaked his damage dealt, and I think that in the final game this will be a harder, more difficult fight. But for now, it still is a fun just example of the variety that this game has. Plus, I like it because you get to see Bayek uh, without the Assassin's Hood. You get to really see uh, who he is and the awesome character that they have designed here. So we're going to work being aggressive as those numbers fly off. It's so weird to see damage numbers in an AC game, but you are going to have loot and you are going to have statistics and, uh, you know, numbered things that correspond to your gear and are important to keep track of as you navigate the world. And there's levels over all of the enemies that help you determine and, and really dictate how the, the combat's going to go. And if it's something that you want to you know, dip your toes into or stay away from and come back later. And I'm sure different levels of guards, different areas of the game, depending on security and whatnot, will have more challenging, more difficult foes. Now, the Slaver is really getting aggressive here, doing these longer attack chains um, and doing more damage to me. Not a lot still, but more damage. And you can see where I mean, like, that didn't really do a whole lot. So I believe, like I said, they had this tuned down. Uh, but we are going to not worry about that. We're just going to go ham and put him out of his misery as he goes hard with his attack strings. We get the adrenaline move. Later you'll be able to upgrade your skills to combo with that, I believe, which is pretty cool. Um, I talk a lot more in detail about the game in the other uh, the open world video. So if you want to check that out, a lot more details about what I played, saw, and heard. But for now, we have him down to about 15% of his meter. And that is good, but he is getting even more rabid as the minutes go on, really working through us. And now, even with his lesser damage, my bar is about half bit. So I got to be careful as he looks to put me into that final segment, which is dangerous. But 
We've lowered him to about 10% health, and he is not relinquishing uh, that final chunk very easily. He has definitely dipped us into dangerous territory, and now things are heating up. It seems like at the end of the fight, the Slaver has been officially unleashed, and now he's ready to work us no matter what, but we'll get behind him after a nice dodge. Take him down to about 5%. That little sliver is all we have left to slice through, and we're going to do it right freaking here. Now, in Assassin's Creed fashion, you have the option to spare or not spare. Mercy or no mercy? Everybody went mercy, so I wanted to see what happened if you went no mercy. Or, or show mercy, I guess. Everyone went no mercy. I went mercy. And I wonder if, like, anything's different if you don't. I don't know. The rewards you get, though, are cool. You get a new uh, outfit. And I'm looking forward to seeing how they incorporate these into the entire game. And combat in general, how it evolves as you progress. The different weapons, the variety. It seems pretty darn fun thus far. I like the increase in uh, effort and increase in focus that you need for combat now. And I like the variety they've incorporated with the different weaponry. The bows, uh, the long weapons like the spears, the shorter weapons like the swords, the shield. How that is activated by a default stance. The dodge and then the variety of enemies you face and how that complicates things even further. And hopefully they continue to take steps as you move through the game, move through the skill tree, move through the loot. But for now, we'll wrap up. Guys and girls, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. It looks very, very crispy and I cannot wait to play more. Until that time, hit that like button if you want to see more Assassin's Creed Origins. Let me know what you think of it in the comments down below and what you feel about the new combat system here for AC. Until next time, everybody, I love you so much. Thanks for watching. Drink so much, all that, and we'll see you all later.